Hey guys, welcome back to Crypto Clan. Today we'll be talking about how Quant could be implemented into a UK CBDC. On the 23rd of November, representatives from the House of Lords and the Bank of England held a joint hearing discussing the implications of a CBDC for the wider UK economy and what this will mean for monetary policy. The hearing mainly detailed the intricacies of CBDCs. However, decisions in regards to the technology which will be used for a UK CBDC has not been decided as of yet. One striking point put forward during the hearing included the desired qualities of a CBDC and how other cryptographic technological innovations such as stablecoins could be utilised for improved monetary activity in the future. The following clip is of the Deputy Governor of the Bank of England, Sir John Cunliffe, uh, for, for quite a few years. And the third, which we're exploring internationally as well, is the extent to which CBDC and stablecoin, which would use completely different payment rails, could be used to uh, improve uh, retail. And the, the international work is kind of working on all of them. And I think um, my guess is the answer is going to be a mix of upgrading some of the existing technologies, using some of the opportunities of the newer ones that are just coming in to place and actually developing some of the ones that are on the horizon, which is CBDC. But there's a lot we can do in international payments without CBDC. As stated by Cunliffe, the Bank of England is looking into implementing stablecoin innovations into future monetary activity. Quant Network is one of few DLT projects which have developed a stablecoin in view of future CBDC developments. Quant offers the multi-ledger token or MLT stablecoin, which has been developed to act as a means of enabling the creation of dedicated payment channels between CBDC networks of varying nations. The development of dedicated payment channels induced by Quant's MLT stablecoin will aid in providing transparency in payments, whereby MLTs will be used as the underbelly stablecoin in cross-CBDC transactions. The provision of MLTs as a means of enabling the cross-conversion of CBDCs will be highly advantageous for the overarching monetary system, whereby, as stated by Cunliffe, CBDC developments could be highly beneficial in cross-border payments. The provision of a single stablecoin in MLT to facilitate the interconversion of CBDCs means that cross-border transactions will arise through a single step. This is in stark contrast to current methods associated with cross-border payments, whereby specific transactions go through a number of financial bodies before achieving finality. The implementation of a stablecoin, in this instance MLT, will make payment transactions more efficient, seamless and cost-effective. Furthermore, as mentioned, multi-ledger token will aid in providing transparency in payments, whereby MLTs used as the underbelly stablecoin in fiat CBDC transactions will provide an auditable record of the stakeholders involved in transactions. The transparency provided by MLTs will enable central banks and government bodies in different nations to be able to interact and determine stakeholders involved in specific CBDC transactions. Quant, MLTs, auditable nature alongside the use of DLT technology when using CBDCs will lead to the formation of a semi-decentralised network whereby government bodies will be able to determine transaction capacities associated with individuals when they utilise CBDCs. The auditable nature of CBDCs would be highly advantageous for central banks, especially when determining economic activity and the nature of transactions taking place. These factors may assist central banks in making better monetary decisions. Furthermore, as stated by Cunliffe, developments surrounding CBDCs will involve upgrades to existing technology and also using newer te technology. Upgrades to existing technology may have been observed in the case of developments to the Bank of England's real-time growth settlement or RTGS system, whereby the central bank is set to modernise and develop infrastructure mechanisms which will see RTGS being compatible with blockchain technology. The Bank of England's RTGS system lies at the heart of UK payments whereby the Bank of England's RTGS system settles payments amounting to £600 billion each day, which is close to the UK's annual GDP every three days. RTGS being compatible with blockchain technology may be in view of developments surrounding a CBDC, whereby CBDCs will likely be built using blockchain or another type of DLT. Thus, upgrades to RTGS in the stated manner will facilitate CBDC activity. Developments surrounding newer innovations as stated by Cunliffe may be in view of the direct utility and implementation of Quant's overledger technology. Quant's overledger, which is protected by a number of patents, is able to facilitate interoperability with legacy as well as DLT systems. 
Overledge's ability to create gateways between networks of varying backgrounds will provide the potential to seamlessly exchange datasets, in this case CBDCs, between ordinarily inoperable networks. This quality could be highly attractive, especially due to national CBDCs expected to be built on differing DLT platforms. Apparent inoperability between DLTs, which CBDCs will actively utilise, will be overcome through the utility of Overledger. Overledger will also provide the potential to connect future CBDC networks with legacy payment infrastructure, namely infrastructure associated with payment systems linked to banks. The leveraging of Overledger in this instance will lead to payment systems being validated and will bring a smooth transition from legacy to future CBDC RTGS infrastructure. Overledger may also improve cross-border payment infrastructure, whereby the utility of Overledger will improve the ability to seamlessly exchange datasets between such financial bodies. The rapid, secure and low fees associated with blockchain use, coupled with the leveraging of Overledger, will allow for services like notarization, payments and know your customer requirements to be seamlessly shared and exchanged between banks. The seamless ability to interconnect private blockchains such banks use will facilitate improvements in the overall efficiency of finance and will resultantly lead to increases in profitability for financial institutions and improvements in the seamlessness of payment actions by the public. What are your thoughts on Quant? Is Quant the best option for CBDCs? Let us know your views in the comments below. Thank you for watching the video. We hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, subscribe and click on the notification bell. Let us know your views in the comments below. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.